Effect presents Total Slaughter. Total Slaughter just went down in New York City this past Saturday. Big T versus Arsenal, T Rex versus Daylight, Loaded Lux versus Murder Mook, Hollow the Don versus Joe Button. My picks pretty much aligned with the judges. Big T shouldn't have been on the card. Daylight chose to undress rather than spit a third round. Mook was a Mook of old, cerebral and cutthroat. He had the best performance of the night. Loaded showed up, but since these battles were judged, his punches didn't resonate when they had to. And Hollow was... Well, let's get into it. J J Joe represented himself well. His first round was by far his best, and because of the cannabis tragedy, I have to give him credit for remembering his lines. And the ones that stuck were the first hit and the Blanca line. For Hollow, he had the ransom line, free to go, home alone, button down, which to me was a definitive moment in the battle when Hollow got the crowd back with that line after a series of boos, especially when 10 minutes later, Joe decided to drop the mic because of booing. Weeks before the event, other battlers, fans, and commentators were suspecting whether a signed artist like Joe could handle the heat on the battle stage. Joe and his slaughterhouse brethren downplayed the environment, but in the end, Joe buckled under the pressure. Can I go? Can I rap? Can I rap? Can I rap? All right, enough with the analysis for one second. Can I just get on my soapbox for a minute? Okay, great, thanks. Can I just say that I'm sick of Daylight's antics? I understand that these battles are judged and showmanship is a valued asset, and I'm not even referring to the spawn suit, but stripping down again rather than performing your verse is Daylight making it about Daylight. And I'm not a fan of watching live battles unless I'm at the event. Smack cuts and edits the mic checks, which kill the momentum of the battles. And why was Case Lay standing? there. Also, why was Roy strategically trying to lighten the blow of Hollow's punchlines before Hollow even hit the fucking stage? All right, I'm done. I'm expecting many mid-level New York City artists to compete at some point. Maybe Graf, Myson, Mayno, or the return of Young Money's Jay Mills. Artists who had brief success, so they'll take the stage with just a little bit more respect for the craft. Overall, Joe vs. Hollow could have been better. Joe was extremely self-congratulatory and gave you the feeling that even though he was giving battling a shot, he was still above the platform. But this is bigger than Joe and Hollow. The best is clearly yet to come. If y'all ever had a conversation with this guy, he reminds you of them fake and lighting niggas that be trying to vent like, as a black brother, we can't follow the white man's motto. No, we cannot wallow in our sorrows. We must cut through it like Zorro. We must hold our heads high. For we come from the essence of the Apollo. You look at him like, huh? He leaned over like, what I'm really trying to say is you got $5 I can borrow. <laughs>